when you look at earnings growth in 2023, there's not a lot of it. I mean, there's growth in earnings and there, there's growth in energy earnings, but where else? Well, I think it just comes down to is growth going to beat expectations? Okay. We're going to see so growth different. next year. It's going to be fantastic, but, you know, slow growth is better than no growth. And I think, you know, the whole FedEx thing is really just a pandemic story, right? I mean, they benefit from the fact that we were sitting inside, just ordering off of Amazon all day, and now consumers are back out in the world. Like, Nike's earnings were interesting because where did they really see a big boost? It was in physical locations, like Dick's Sporting Goods. It was in, like, uh, Foot Locker. So it's because consumers have just changed their behavior. I mean, we already know. I mean, consumers are spending money. They're just spending them in different places than they were during the pandemic. It's like out in the world again. So I think the bottom line here is if, it, if you see earnings beats going into next year, inflation is coming out precipitously. I don't trust the Fed. I trust the bond market. The bond guns are way smarter than the Fed. Um, and again, I don't see that softening in the labor market everyone's talking about. I'm waiting to see it, but I don't think it's going to happen. These are all good things. So you're right in this year end rally into 23. I mean, I've, you're still buying going into year end. I mean, so 100 yeah, percent, because the other thing you have next year, too, is China. They're going to come out of lockdown at some point, and everyone benefits from that. I mean, if you're FedEx, you're going to benefit from that. If you're Nike, you're going to benefit from that. The whole global economy benefits from the fact that they're going to be reopened. And that's something that no one's talking about right now. That's a huge catalyst.